Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture on the obstetrics that is practical obstetrics in that I would like to discuss about the diameters of fetal skull. So in our last class we have learned about the different types of fontanelles uh, and before we have learned about the sutures and before that we have learned about the parts of the skull. Now let us learn about the diameters of the fetal skull which is really very really very important. Okay, so um, in the diameters of the fetal skull, there are nearly six anterior posterior diameters and uh, three, uh, four transverse diameters. So first, I would like to discuss about the anterior posterior diameters in this lecture and in the next lecture, I will discuss about the transverse diameters. So the first diameter which I would like to discuss is suboccipito pragmatic. So as I have labeled, this is the pragma, that is the anterior fontanel, this is the occiput. Okay, so suboccipito pragmatic. So this is occiput, just below the occiput is suboccipit, just below the occiput. That is nape of the neck. Suboccipit, we started from nape of the neck and pragmatic. So this is the first diameter, which is suboccipito pragmatic. So I'll write something about this important salient features of the of this first diameter, which is sub occipito pragmatic okay so this sub occipito pragmatic the length is 9.5 centimeters and this is seen this will be the uh, diameter of engagement whenever there is complete flexion Okay, whenever there is complete flexion, only then this will be the diameter of engagement. And here the presentation is vertex presentation. Okay, so this is about suboccipitopragmatic. It starts from the nape of the neck to the bregma, that is anterior fontanel. Okay, so this is suboccipitopragmatic. The next one the second uh, diameter which i would like to discuss is suboccipito frontal so it starts from the suboccipit itself and this will that is from the nape of the neck it starts from the nape of the neck and then it will uh, end at the anterior end of anterior fontanel or the center of sinciput suboccipito frontalis it will um, enter at the center of the sinciput so this is the if this is this is the sinciput right this is the sinciput so this is the center of the sinciput so it starts from the uh, nape of the neck to the center of the sinciput so this is called as suboccipito frontal okay so let me describe this this is sub this is the first one this is the second one sub occipito frontal okay what are we going to see in this the length of this is 9, 10 centimeters sub occipito pragmatic it is 9.5 centimeters sub occipito frontal it is 10 centimeters easy to remember 9.5 plus 0.5 that is 10 centimeters okay so here uh, the attitude will be incomplete flexion. Whenever the baby is in incomplete flexion, only then you can see the suboccipital frontal diameter has engaging diameter. And this is seen in vertex presentation. Okay, so this is about suboccipital frontal. It starts from the nape of the neck and ends at the center of the sinciput. This is sinciput, it ends at the center of the sinciput. So, this is sinciput. Okay, it ends at the center of the sinciput. Okay, now the next diameter which I would like to discuss is um, occipito frontal diameter. So, what are we going to learn in occipito frontal diameter? It starts from the occiput. This is the occiput, so it starts from the occiput and it ends at the root of the nose. That is occipito frontal. Though this is the nose, so this is root of the nose. So it starts from the occiput and ends at the root of the nose. Okay, so this is occipito frontal. 
what is it this is occipital frontal okay so this is occipital frontal so what are we going to see here this occipital frontal diameter it starts from the occipital eminence to the root of the nose okay if the name frontal is there but that doesn't seem say, say that it is at the incipit at the center of incipit here it is at the root of the nose so this occipital frontal the length is this is the third one 11.5 cm see you are adding 0.5 here that that becomes 10 then here you are adding 1.5 that becomes 11.5 okay that is 11.5 cm which is occipital frontal and here this occurs in marked deflection whenever there is marked deflection then you see this occipital uh, frontal and even this occurs in vertex presentation so these are the three diameters which you see in vertex presentation but where do you see here there is complete flexion here there is incomplete flexion a little incomplete flexion okay here there is complete flexion here there is incomplete flexion here there is deflection there is no flexion at all okay so these are the three uh, uh, such uh, diameters which you see in frontal press or in vertex presentation now let us learn about the sutures which you see in other presentations so as it is i have drawn the same picture again this is bregma this is occiput now mentum comes so this is mentum now i would like to discuss about uh, the first one which is mento vertical so mento vertical it starts from the mid point of the chin so this is the chin so if you see this is the chin this is the mid point of the chin so it starts from the mid point of the chin to the highest point of the sagittal suture this is the sagittal suture so this is the highest point of the sagittal suture so mento vertical it starts from the it extends from the mid point of the chin to the highest point of the sagittal suture okay so this is mento vertical where it starts from the mid point of chin and it extends up to the highest point of the sagittal suture so what is this called this is mento vertical okay the diameter of this mento vertical diameter is 14 cm it is the largest diameter if you see this is the largest diameter so here the the baby will be in partial extension and the presentation which we see here is bro presentation so this is mento vertical now let us learn about the next um so next next diameter that is submento vertical so it is submento vertical so submento vertical so it extends from the floor of the mouth so this is the floor of the mouth and that is it extends from the junction of floor of the mouth and the neck this is the neck so this is the floor of the mouth junction of floor of the mouth and the neck so it starts from the junction of floor of the mouth and neck and it extends up to the highest point of the sagittal suture till here that is submento vertical so this is submento vertical okay so what is this called this is submento vertical so it starts from the uh, junction of the um, floor of the mouth and the neck it extends from here to the highest point of the sagittal suture so that is submento vertical so its length is again decreases 11.5 cm and it occurs whenever the baby is in incomplete extension and this is seen in face presentation the final diameter of the fetal skull which is important here is submento bregmatic so this is the submentum and this is the bregma so the next diameter is submento bregmatic submentum is between the 
floor of the mouth and the neck it starts from the floor of the mouth and the neck and it then extends into the cent up to the center of the bregma so this is called submento bregmatic okay so this is the final one which is submento bregmatic so the length of this submento bregmatic diameter it decreases again to 9.5 cm it occurs at complete extension and here we see it in phase presentation okay so if you see this is in partial extension the, the this is in partial extension this is in incomplete extension this is in complete extension completely there is extension of the head completely so these are the different diameters that is transfer sorry the uh, anterior posterior diameters that you see in the fetal skull in our next class we will learn about the transverse diameters so thank you guys for watching my lecture if you have any doubts please comment it in the comment section if you feel something is inadequate in this lecture even then comment it in the comment section thank you for watching my lecture thank you